loves so today I wanted to share with you guys a haul it's not really a lot of stuff but I did want to share with you guys a couple things I bought and also my favorites for the month of February so to begin I'm gonna start by showing you guys the stuff I got at Walmart yesterday and I've been like kind of collecting things here and there and saving it all up for a haul so let's get right into the Walmart stuff so the first thing I got are these little um, makeup wipes right here. They're the nighttime soothing makeup remover towelettes. And these are really good. I like to use them to take off my makeup before I go to sleep. Because I'm really lazy when it comes to removing my makeup. The next thing is this NYC New York Color Individual Eyes Quad. And this is the 938 Union Square. I already have one, but that one's like already all used up. I bought this one for the sole purpose of making a video tutorial with this um, in a couple days. The next one I got is this right here, and it's this Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette. This one is called Aphrodisiac, and I really like this one in particular because for some reason this blue just caught my attention. And it's like this really vibrant blue right there. There's a collab actually coming up pretty soon here in a couple of weeks. And it's actually with one of my YouTube friends and her name is Brittany Dudley. I'll link her channel down below if you guys want to check out her videos. But she's beautiful and she makes amazing videos. A couple of these things I kind of already opened just to make sure it was what I wanted. Uh, but this one is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I've been trying to get my hands on this for the longest time, um, but this is the eyeliner I would use all the time, ever since I was in high school. Like, I would always use this eyeliner. This was my holy grail, and it's just like this, like a brush tip applicator. So, so excited, because I had bought two of these, and they both got lost, or I don't know if somebody took them, or if they really got lost, but yeah. Elf shimmer and this is the one in gold and it's just like that I might just make a tutorial with all this stuff something like drugstore makeup look or something I don't know if you guys are interested in something like that let me know the other thing that I saw and I was really excited about is this elf blush palette and this one says it's for light skin I think or it's lighter shades I don't know I don't know what it means by light, but I really like the packaging of it. So it's just like that, and it's like black. And then you open it, and inside, like this really nice big mirror, and then you have the four blush shades right here. They're like really nice neutrals. You guys can see right there. They're really pretty, so I'm excited to use this. And the very last thing I got was this this Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm. And I can only use certain types of lip balms on my lips. Because, like, for example, if I use, like, the ChapStick brand ChapSticks, my lips will break out in this horrible rash. And it's not a pretty sight. So, I'd rather stick to things like this. I really love Burt's Bees. They have a nice variety and they also smell really good. Yeah, they smell really, really nice. So, that was all the stuff I bought at Walmart. I've got a couple things from Ulta and a few of these I actually got for my birthday. The first one is the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Collection and I already used them but just for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you guys with the packaging. I really like these brushes. They're really nice and soft. And I think they're really good. Like the the big powder one, I really like to apply blush with. It gives more of like a natural flushed look. So the next thing I got are these socks right here. These are actually a gift from my little stepbrother. So he got me these nice little fuzzy socks and these are the Body Benefits Aloe Infused Lounge Socks. So I'm excited to try those. And then I got a birthday gift from Ulta which I guess this year is an is a eyeshadow palette. This is the one in Indie. And I really like this. I thought this was really cute because it says like happy birthday all around. You guys might not be able to see because my camera doesn't want to focus on it. But 
Yeah, it's like this really nice eyeshadow thing. If I can open it. So it's just like that. And they're like all like these pretty shimmery neutrals. So I'm excited to try those. Thank you, Ulta. Last year I actually got a Calvin Klein mascara. And I really liked it also. It was really nice. And then the last two things I got at Ulta were two soft matte lip creams. Because after buying Transylvania, I actually really liked it. So I went out and bought two more. These are in the color Zurich. Zurich? I don't know how to say that. And then the other one is Morocco. Morocco looks amazing. It's like a super vibrant red orange shade. I don't know. I really like it. And then this one's more like a nice neutrally like peachy shade and it's really good for like a nude lip. I don't know. I really like this one. So got those. These are actually going to be part of my monthly favorites video. So since I already mentioned those, I might as well just jump into my favorites for the month of February. The first ones, since I already mentioned them, are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, which I have three of them now. Um, they're really nice and soft. They smell like cake frosting. It smells super amazing. They go on like soft, kind of like a, like a lip balmy type thing, and they dry to like a matte. And then they're really buildable, so I really like these. So the next thing I have is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I have two of these just because I like to mix them sometimes. I have the one in Sun Beige and then the other one is in Sand Beige. And I really like the way this looks on my skin. It gives a nice, even appearance and then it lasts me all day. So I really like to use this in combination with my Real Technique sponge, which is also one of my February favorites. This is really good, and I feel like I haven't put it down, which is why it's like dirty. So excuse the dirty sponge, because I just used it right now to put on my foundation. So then that leads me into my next favorite drugstore foundation, which is the Revlon Color Stay. This is the one, 24 hour one, because it adheres really nice to my skin, and it's a medium to full coverage foundation. Now, this one in particular I really like because it covers all of my imperfections, so like all my little acne scars and then the ones that make like holes in my skin. And it also covers my pores that I don't necessarily want to be visible. The only downside I feel like there is to this product is that it can be pretty heavy, but what I like to do is uh, dilute it a little bit with my moisturizer and then it makes for a nicer application. So going into my favorite drugstore concealers, this one is already an empty, so that's going to go in the trash right now, but it is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealers. These are really good and I feel like they don't crease on me. And they last a long time. The next concealer is the Milani Secret Cover Cream Concealer. This one's the one in beige. I actually bought this one at Dollar Tree and I didn't think I'd like it. But I actually really like it to conceal underneath my brows. Which also highlights my brow bone. This stuff is really good. It's really like thick and like creamy. But if you know how to work with it, it works really well. Into setting powder that I use for my under eyes. The one I always, always go to is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and it's just this little container. I'm almost like at empty, so yeah. What I like to set my foundation with is the True Match Super Blendable Powder and this is the W6 Sun Beige. So it's just the one that is supposed to be for the foundation I guess. I like to use these two together so this is another one of my February favorites. The two eyeliners that I've really been into this month are the Essence eyeliners. I have the one that's the waterproof and then the super fine eyeliner pen. So these are really nice and they're like two or three dollars each. So they're not really expensive and they work really well especially if you're like in a hurry to do your eyeliner. Also, if you're a beginner with eyeliner, these two are really good and I really recommend these two. The mascara I've really, really been loving this month is the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. And this is by Grow Luscious. It's a volume and lengthening mascara and it's just like this and it comes in this pretty little tube. I actually got this for Christmas but didn't start using it until like maybe the beginning of this month. So... 
I don't know. I didn't know if I would like it or not, but I tried it out and I actually really like it. I like the way it makes my eyelashes look because my eyelashes are like this. So they sit downward and then when I curl them, they kind of like make like a bend and then they lift like this. So then it's like this. So then this is what my eyelashes look like when I curl them. So um, this one, I find that I can just curl my eyelashes like a little bit and then it'll curl them and it'll keep them curly and it'll stay that way for the rest of the day. So I really like it for that reason. This lip product I want to share with you guys that I'm actually wearing on my lips today. I can't really see it that much, but I really like this one because it's super creamy and it tastes sweet, which is weird, but it's the e.l.f. matte lip color and this is the one in Praline, Praline, I don't know how you say the name, but it's like a twist up kind of one and then if you have these and you didn't know um, how to sharpen them. There is a little sharpener at the bottom, so this little color part actually comes off. And this is a sharpener that you use to sharpen the little thing with, so yeah. And then the very last thing that I want to share with you guys, which is something I recently bought and I've been loving. I use it on myself, I use it on my sisters, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and it is the Extra Strength All Over Body Wax Kit by Sally Hansen. And it's just like this. And it comes with these little, uh, the little sticks, the, um, the little paper thingy that you use to take it off, and then the wax, which you can put in the microwave. And then also the little, um, this little oil that you use after it, which is really good because it kind of takes off the nasty sticky residue that the wax leaves sometimes. I really like this stuff. I... And one of those people, which this is one of my insecurities, is facial hair because my mom does have like really dark mustachy hairs, so I do too, which is why in some of my videos it looks like really dark and fugly. Um, so what's been helping me a lot for that is this little waxing kit. And I do recommend it because over time I've noticed that it's been... Um, it's been lessening that appearance of hair so they don't grow back like peach fuzz it grows back more like sparse so that's what also what I've read about waxing is that it, over time it helps you um, that over time it helps so that the hairs eventually grow out less and less so that you can just pluck it off with tweezers if you wanted but this stuff is really good um, I use it to wax my armpits <laughs> and also to do this. I'm too scared to use it on my eyebrows so I didn't do it on there but um, I think I'm just gonna buy something separate to use on my eye or just keep using the little Dollar Tree waxing strips because I trust those more with my eyebrows. Oh I almost forgot another concealer that I've been really loving this month and it's the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. This is the one in 25 medium. Um, this one is a lot like the NYX one I find. Um, it lasts all day, it doesn't crease, and it works really well um, when you set it with like a beauty sponge. Also, if you are looking for nicer brushes and um, you are in Walmart, Walmart expanded their whole thing of brushes. I went yesterday and I was going crazy because I wanted to buy all the brushes there, but I didn't have enough money so I didn't buy any, but next time for sure. I will sin and buy those brushes that I saw there because they, they look really nice and I feel like it would be really cool to maybe try them out for you guys and let you guys know if it's worth the money. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. I like to first tap it in there a little bit, okay, and then I'll start running it back and forth.